In this documentary, we are going to find why America engages in war. Throughout the, throughout the wars, such as the war, the World Wars, Vietnam War, Korean War, and the Cold War, our reasons for engagement has changed significantly. By Rom, Nick, Tejas, Jack, and Andrew. World War One. World War I started with the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. This caused European nations to go into a frenzy and declare war with each other. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. Then the Ottoman Empire and Germany sided with Austria-Hungary. The US, Russia, France, and England sided with Serbia. Before World War I, a German ship sunk the American merchant vessel the Lusitania, it killing over a thousand people. We promptly cut off our trade relations with Germany, and this brought us one step closer to entering war. After this event, a few other ships, including the Sussex, an American vessel, were sunk. A major reason for entering World War I was our allies. Although there was support for Germany and Italy, aka the Central Powers, almost all Americans sided with the Allied Powers. This is because of Americans' ancestry. A large percentage of Americans at the time were descended from Great Britain. We were also very good trade partners with England. And when the UK stopped our ships, our merchant vessels, they repaid us whereas the German subs sank our ships on site, killing American men. There was also a lot of anti-German support because of Germany's harsh treatment of Belgium at the beginning of the war. The Zimmerman Telegram was a telegram that influenced American engagement in the war. It was intercepted on April 6, 1917 by Britain. The telegram said that should America enter the war, Mexico would enter the war as well on the side of on Germany's side and fight the Americans on the home front so as not to become involved with Germany. The reason that America became involved in World War I was because of self-defense and national security. We did not wish to enter the war because the U.S. wanted to be an isolationist country. We couldn't stay because we couldn't stay put because of a world that was becoming smaller, and if Germany won, it could put the U.S. in danger. So the U.S. was then forced to take action. Reasons for involvement in World War II. In World War II, we also partially entered the war because of Germany sinking our ships, just like in World War I. They launched unrestricted submarine warfare on us, just like in the previous war, and it angered many U.S. citizens. Once again, we entered a war partially because of our allies, Great Britain and France. There was the reasons from World War I, like our ancestry and our good trade relations, but this time we had also had the past history of fighting in wars together that strengthened our bonds.
Japan. The U.S. had control of the Philippines and made lots of money from them. So when Japan started its conquest for territory and took over Indochina and the Philippines, it angered the U.S. and increased anti-Japanese thoughts. Now probably the single biggest reason that America entered World War II is because of Japan attacking Pearl Harbor. This attack enraged Americans because it was a surprise attack on one of our most important Pacific naval bases on American soil in Hawaii. America became involved in World War II because of national security and self-defense, similar to the reasons for World War I. Japan was a threat and might have invaded the U.S. for oil and natural resources. The U.S. had to enter the war in order to stop Japan's invasion and to prevent Germany from becoming too powerful in Europe, then causing us to be in danger in America. We mainly entered the war in interest of ourselves. World War I to World War II, America's motivation to go to war didn't change very much. In World War I, when we were made we went to war mainly because we were threatened by Germany off the home front. This includes the Zimmerman telegram and the sinking of the Lusitania and the Sussex. Nothing ever happened to us on the home front. But in World War II, we were attacked on the home front. This forced us to go to war because it was a matter of national security. We couldn't just let somebody just attack us and get away with it. This is why we had to go to war in World War II. Communism in Russia was spreading rapidly and America was scared. America didn't know what to do. Russia was taking over small countries in Europe and building a wall called the Iron Curtain that went down these countries. The Iron Curtain blocked off any outside communication from the outside world with these countries and so this made America have to go to war with Russia because of their expansion of communism. In the time period from World War II to the Cold War, America's motivation to go to war had the most drastic changes. During World War II, America primarily went to war because of the attack on Pearl Harbor. The only reason we went to war was for self-defense and national security. Then in the Cold War, we went to war to stop the spread of communism and to have bigger bombs in Russia for intimidation.
After World War II, the Soviet Union and America occupied Korea because during the war, Japan had occupied it. Uh, the USSR was in North Korea and the United States was in South Korea. This created a political divide between North and South, communism versus democracy. The U.S. helped Korea set up an election to find a leader. South Korea voted for a leader, but the Soviet Union blocked off all communications with North Korea, further dividing the two and making North Korea a secluded communist place where they couldn't vote for a leader. The U.S. promised to leave South Korea after they had a government. So after the U.S. left, North Korea, with the help of the Soviets, through weapons and tanks, invaded South Korea to try to unite the Koreas by force. The U.S. saw that communism was trying to spread again and went to defend South Korea and the democracy they had set up there. Why do you think we got involved in the Korean War? Uh, why the United States got involved in it mm -hmm. was to keep uh, Korea from going to a communist country, mm -hmm. and it was divided. Mm -hmm. The North wanted to go communist, and the South didn't want to go communist. So we were supporting the southern part of Korea against the northern part, and then uh, Russia no, Chinese. The Chinese was back in the uh, northern half of Korea. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how the United States got involved in to help the southern, people, the southern part of the country. All right. And do you think uh, America ever thought about backing out of the war? Did they ever think about? Mm -hmm. They stopped fighting? Maybe some people did, but I don't think that the United States, I don't think the government. As a U.S. citizen, how did you feel about the Korean War? I, I, what is my personal feeling? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we did good at keep them, keeping the southern part as a free country. They are now building automobiles in the United States. And they are prospering. They're, they're, the, the whole country, the, the whole southern part of it is it's a prosperous, prospering uh, metropolis, but uh, you know, it's not a free thing. It's not free now. It's we're that is still a war zone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only a ceasefire. Never has actually been settled, and the government of the North Koreans for suppressing the people to support a big army, mm -hmm. which is not what we want. Yeah. How much information do you think America was given about the war? How much information? Mm -hmm. Well, from all what little bit I know about the difference, I think the public was pretty well kept up on what was actually going on. Uh, I think more so than, I would say more so than we did in Vietnam. When you were in the army, did you notice if more troops were getting pulled into the war because of the expansion and growth of communism in North Korea? Uh, yes. Yeah, we, yeah, the Chinese was backing the North Koreans and they sent troops in, so the United States had to reinforce the troops they had there. So that'd be the answer, that'd be yes. All right.
We entered the Korean War in order to stop communism from spreading. The Soviet Union was trying to gain more allies that were communist, and we did not want that so that the Soviet Union and its allies would not be as powerful as the United States. We also saw the democracy we had set up in South Korea threat being threatened. So we went to defend democracy and stop the spread of communism. The reasons for American involvement did not change very much from the Cold War to the Korean War. In the Cold War, it was mostly threats and intimidation by building bigger and better bombs. But the Korean War made the stopping of communism spreading more active. The U.S. went from intimidating people to not being communist in the Cold War to actually fighting to stop communism in the Korean War. The United States first became involved in Vietnam before the actual Vietnamese War. It all started when the U.S. sent soldiers over to help the French protect a rebelling colony called Vietnam. This uh, caused Vietnam to become weak and unstable, and when they finally did uh, claim independence, the Soviets were able to provide for their needs, causing the country to become communist in the northern half. The U.S. became involved with Vietnam when we saw communism spreading and decided to take action. We sent troops and military advisors to South Vietnam and gave them several millions of dollars in money to train troops. The Viet Cong in Northern Vietnam did not want America in Vietnam, so they attempted to push America out. America fought back so communists in Vietnam wouldn't win. Why do you believe America became involved in the world other than just the rubber plantation? There's two sides to that, I guess. Uh, once we got over there and I saw the atrocities that were happening, because the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese, anybody that stood in their way, they killed them. They would force the village chiefs to do what they wanted to do, give them their food, the whole nine yards. So, not just a rubber plantation, but man's inhumanity towards man. And it's something that we really don't hear about or see that much unless you're really involved and you see the atrocities. Even the news media in Afghanistan now, and they don't really show. Just like the women and the children, if, if they try to learn and read, they're killing them. Yeah, so we were over there trying to stop that and also trying to take North Vietnam, stop North Vietnam from taking over South Vietnam. Well, I mean, how has your personal. All right, and, and the way that I've seen it change, over there during the 60s and the 70s, 
you had the North Vietnamese Ryan who was under uh, uh, I can't even remember the name. It wasn't male case song. It was uh, anyway. You had you had him who was in charge of North Vietnam, and you had an American coalition government that was run by the South Vietnamese and South Vietnam. But since that time, the people in South Vietnam and even North Vietnam are adapting more and more toward the American way of life. So, who's to say whether we were trying to instill something on them they didn't want, and now, through whichever way you want to bring it, they had come their own way. The people were able to work be as free now as they ever were. And they're not under communism, even though you call it that. Mm. So I think they're better off now than they were when I was old. And that's just my feeling. You can see it. That, I mean, they're, they're really big at building that country up. How was American involvement in Vietnam helpful, or how was it destructive? I don't think it was helpful at all. Uh, we came in to a beautiful country in order to try to stop an insurgent or army or whatever you want to call it. We literally destroyed the landscape, bombing. Mm -hmm. Innocent people and innocent lives lost because of what we did. All in the idea that we were helping this country. Fifty years later, and they're, they're growing, they're a booming country because North Vietnam came in, took over South Vietnam, and they, they have risen above what they were. So I think we heard more than we heard. I suppose it answers your question, do you believe American involvement helped or hurt 50 years in the future? We, we heard them and they helped themselves. We, we really did. We, we were in the process of holding them back. Uh, well, my last question for you today is, when you were serving in Vietnam, did you serve with any South Vietnamese? <coughs> yeah, I did. And I wouldn't trust them as far as I can throw that door. The U.S. entered the Vietnam War because, as the world was getting smaller, the U.S. had to stick its nose in other people's affairs to protect its interests. If the Soviet Union had enough communist allies, it would become equal with the power of the United States. So the United States had to stop the spread of communism throughout Asia. We entered both the Korean and Vietnam War for generally the same reason. We wanted to step, stop the spread of communism from spreading to other countries so they wouldn't take that ideology and apply it to their own nations. This is why we got into both the Korean and Vietnam War. However, eventually co communism fell due to the lack of efficiency and we withdrew our troops from both countries.